Welcome to the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Uh, today's video post is going to be one of my outdoor kitchen uh, analyses. And um, this is a great one to sink your teeth into because in this particular build, which was in Briarcliff Manor in Westchester County, um, this is a really good example of how we integrate with um, a trade person on site, like a hardscape person um, who built part of the, um, uh, the project themselves. So let's get to it. Um, in this situation, again, we're in Briarcliff Manor, Westchester County. Um, the customer came to us in the dead of winter, and his kind of macro view of everything was he wanted a he had a patio that was like destroyed awful condition wanted to rebuild it and wanted to create a space that his family and he had a pretty large family children grandchildren he wanted them all to come over and hang and cook in a variety of different ways and just have a beautiful space for gathering and um i think he and his wife were also quite social um in their uh, medical community, I guess he's a doctor, so they wanted to be, have a place to entertain as well. So um, the whole process started again with one of my site visits where I did a survey, um, you know, took my notes and then uh, um, went back, created a design, went back and forth, and then we finally baked something in and off we went. Now, what ended up happening he wanted to have a fireplace to be the kind of focus point of the kitchen and we were going to build it for him originally and then he opted just to have his uh his his hardscape guy do it which is fine and that's why it's a good example to talk about that because we we can work and we always work with those folks seamlessly so in this case we built the island and of course sold him all the grill equipment and then um we uh, brought it on site, got everything set up, and then his um, uh, the hardscape guy took care of the building of the uh, of the fireplace and also veer veneered up the island, supplied the countertop, also re uh, redid the patio. We'll talk about that a little later on. But um, this island, what we ended up doing was an L shape, and in the midst of the L shape, you had the integration of the fireplace. So going from the top, he went with DCS products. He was familiar with them, also like the availability. Went with a 36 inch DCS series nine. Underneath it, we have the 36 inch draw situation that his gas could come up uh, through there and feed the grill. Next to it, he has the 24 inch DCS power burner, which is gonna feed off that gas line as well. Next to the power burner, we have a sink slash beverage chiller from DCS. That's the BC25. Um, kind of has a dual um, existence because it could be a sink or you could just fill it up with ice and um, use it as a beverage chiller for the day. There's also a speed rail that you can get for the front of it so you could have your favorite um, uh, libation mixtures in there to make uh, basically turn into a bartending station. Um, we then we get to the L and that's where the Kamado Joe comes in and he was um, drawn to the Kamado Joe. He wanted some type of ceramic grill because he's from the uh, he's from the Indian subcontinent and he wanted, you know, something to approximate a uh, um, uh, uh, a tandoor oven. And <clears throat> quite frankly, a Kamado Joe or any of the ceramics, that's the closest you're going to get to it. Uh, with ceramic cooking. So we got the big one for him, the 24 inch. We put a drawer underneath there for storage, which is a DCS drawer. And then we get to the fireplace and beyond the fireplace, which you really can't see in the pictures, we have uh, an arch that was built into the island for his wood, which also is a winner from an aesthetic standpoint. And then next to that, we just did a simple 24 inch Marvell single door refrigerator, uh, which is a great, great fridge at $2,500. You can keep it outside all winter. It has a lock on it. It's American built and great service. Um, and then what you don't see in the picture is his last cooking device, which is an Alpha 4 pizza oven on uh, the cart. So um, a lot of different cooking uh, devices here. And, um, you know, he's going to have a lot of fun here, no doubt about that. So let's talk about challenges that we that we encountered with this build um, aside from the fact that initially 
he was very uh the homeowner was very uh just you know up in the air about what he wanted to do and a lot of things kept changing um we finally got the plan minted after about a month of going back and forth um but and and quite frankly the de dealing with the the fireplace which we were originally going to build and then he had the, the hard skip guy take care of it that was a very seamless process so if that's something you're looking at doing we can peel it off for you no problem at all um and he could see he used the same stone on the island that he used on the fireplace um the challenge that he encountered really had to do with lack of initial planning on one front not 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 having nothing to do with us but he had he started to develop water issues before the island was even finished um we had to keep on going back making multiple trips because products were coming in kind of like as onesies and twosies and at one point my uh one of my installers you know he called me and he goes listen there's a lot of water pulling on the patio here and um and again i want you just to, to just keep this in your mind this patio was a disaster when we got there so it was a whole little it was an outdoor kitchen was only part of it it was a full patio reload um so i went there yeah and i saw the water situation he was also getting water on the countertop there was water uh, pooling on, on on the base of the patio so what had to happen you know, his mason i guess did not take into account the pitch which they needed so I mean, it was really becoming a problem um, where he stands. So what happened was they had to put a drainage system in because the patio was on the third level of this guy's house. So they had to drain from the second level down out so that you know, Mason or had to take care of that. And on as far as the pooling that was going on on the countertop, um, we ended up just shimming the island. Um, like, I don't even think it was even a quarter of an inch, and that took care of that. So lesson to be learned you might there's so many things to take into consideration when you're building these islands but the water the potential for water okay is so huge drainage issues you have to have these in front of you and so many people that i speak to i mean listen you don't build islands i get it you're not in construction you're not a contractor you have to rely on your trade partner your trade person to to bring these things up to you and i guess a lot of them don't so in this situation they didn't so i'm just going to tell you right off the get-go you're going to build an outdoor kitchen you best damn be thinking about where the water's going okay and we'll just leave it at that um what i love about this island is just the um the breadth of product that he has in terms of cooking outdoors he he can knock out any style form that he wants he wants the simplicity and the ease of use with gas he's got the 36 inch gas grill he wants to cook with gas but he wants a larger cooking vessel he has his 24 inch power burner he could do clam bakes on there he can do fajitas he can make breakfast out there with the big with the griddle um so many different ways with the convenience of gas now you want to go you know kind of have an approximate a tandoor oven go to the kamado joe you want to make pizzas on it go to the kamado joe you want to smoke a brisket ribs american barbecue kamado joe kamado joe kamado joe he's got it all covered you want to break bake non bread bang there you go moving over on the other side you want to go make your pizzas you neapolitan style you have the wood burning oven now how about cast iron skillet cooking chicken scarpiello lamb steaks i've done it myself i have a wood burner i don't even make pizzas in it okay i cook proteins in there it comes out next level so he has everything covered so when his grandkids come over they could just have so much fun making pizzas outside it's just i mean it really nailed his again his macro kind of like thought process with this build out yeah i want to have a nice patio but he wanted to have a social gathering spot he wanted to create a locus for his family to come and just hang and have a fun time and he certainly nailed it um i also like to say that i probably made about 10 site visits to this house so um uh, i taught him how to use all the devices um i even went there once with a flat tire on a friday because he had a big party on saturday i went out there and i said to him thank goodness for my run flats because i could still get to the house um i got there friday afternoon um i showed him what he needed to see and he had a great party on saturday so what does that say to you why am i bringing that up because at the ring of fire spe specifically dealing with senior smoke we go the entire way we're not just writing up a grill for you processing your credit card done hell no hell no we are there for you the whole way through and we build relationships with you okay 
That's the way it's been at Curtis for 74 plus years, and that's the way it is at the Ring of Fire. Folks, any questions, hit me up. Questions at rofgrills.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.